China is already one of the biggest market in the world, all right? but the import spirit is only less than 1% of the total Chinese white spirit being consumed. The rest of the 99% is, is a local baijiu, all right? and the local baijiu is very much established and with strong heritage, right? almost 100% penetration. So I believe there's, there's, there's a huge potential for whiskey category in China. I think it's around two to three million cases a year has been consumed in China, right? So the value is hard to calculate because the, the deep detail calculation behind the whole different, different skills, but it's one of the biggest market in the world already and only less than 1% of the total category. So, 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 so the future for the long-term view is very, very promising. These are the American, the ex-American barrels. They will give us a lot of sweetness. And think about vanilla, think about coconut, think about honey, think about over the years, uh, bananas and ginger spices. So the white spices, dark spices, white spices. It is a rich sensation. It's literally a whiskey that if you drink it, it says, hello, how are you doing? The Asian market on its own has a huge potential. And what you want to see is the, the best products that we as a company can deliver. So we are focusing on older whiskies, on um, expressions that are rare for the European market or for the American market. The main industry in this part of the world is the whiskey industry and the oil industry. The oil industry is under pressure and if we can create work, if we can create jobs for the people over here by growing markets, that will be grand, that will be really great.